Hello everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Thank you for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. So get nice and comfortable. Make sure your chair is stable. Decide how it's comfortable for you to sit. And then when you're ready, take a full breath in. Exhale it out, slow and steady. And start to settle in. A few more longer breaths, just like that. And you can go ahead and soften your gaze down. Close your eyes. Whatever's most comfortable for you. And start to turn inwards. Noticing simply this moment. Noticing the support underneath you. Feeling into the room around you, not needing to look around. And notice where you are in that room. Just orienting yourself to this moment. Tune into how you're feeling. And if there's a lot on your mind. Notice how your body is feeling today. Expanding your awareness out into your body from the tip of your toes and fingertips all the way to the crown of your head. Noticing where your awareness is drawn to without a story, without a judgment, just simply being aware. Noticing any tightness or tension and offering yourself any ease that you can invite inwards. And also notice the more unfamiliar places, the quieter places, the places where you feel ease. Notice the right side of your body and I'm just going to mirror you. So the right side of your body from the sole of your foot all the way up the right side of your body as if you were, had a pendulum drawn downwards through the crown of your head all the way down to the earth, the right side of your body. Notice that. Be aware of it. You might even become aware of a humming or a buzzing or vibration, energetic feeling in the right side of your body. And then slide your awareness to the left side of your body, sole of your foot, all the way up to the crown of your head on the left side and notice that. And then becoming aware of the front plane of your body. So as if you were, had a line drawn down the side of your body. Bring your awareness into the front half of your body. And then draw your awareness into the back body. Of your head, shoulders, all the way down, your back, seat, back of your legs, heels. And 
and then expand your awareness out to all of it. Take it all in at once. And again, you might notice the kind of energy levels that you have today. We'll get connected down to those surfaces underneath us. You can move around with your feet in your seat any which way you need to to wake up the sensation of that support underneath you. And then from the support, reaching up through the crown of your head. Soften your shoulders in a comfortable way. And consider widening through the collarbones. Notice if there's any adjustments you can make to your posture, to how you're seated, that makes it feel more comfortable for you. And then start to dip your awareness inside to your breath. Noticing your breath in your body and how your body responds to the breath. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And starting to maybe slow down those breaths just a little. And there's no particular way we need to breathe, so we all breathe in our own way, so make it your own. A little longer inhale and exhale. Steadying that breath out. And once again, noticing your body responding to the breath. Noticing where you are aware of your breath moving your body. Maybe one side of your body feels the breath more. Maybe the front, maybe the back of the body. No right, no wrong. Just being aware. Then any tension, any tightness that may have built up in your body, allow that to relax and allow the breath to relax too. So if you've allowed the breath to become a little more rigid because of your awareness, because you're focusing so hard, simply see if you can let that go so everything comes back to ease. Within those longer, steadier breaths. Rooting down to that support to rise. With those breaths on the inhale, drift the chin upwards. And on the exhale, drift the chin downwards. Being aware of all sensation. And allow your awareness to float from sensation to sensation. You might notice the different areas of your body. Always tuning into the body to notice if you want to adjust or adapt anything to it to feel like it's working with your body, the movement's working with your body and breath instead of against it. Allowing those movements to stay as they are, get smaller or bigger as you choose. Another two here. Resting always if you need to. Again, being aware of how your body and breath move together. And coming all the way up to center. This is the inhale and the exhale, turning to one side, inhaling to center, and over to the other side. can always allow those movements to be with a soft gaze, lowered gaze, or closed eyes. So you allow 
the sensations in the body to get a little louder as we turn our eyesight inwards. Another two either side when you're ready or resting early if you prefer. And then off to your next exhale or when you're ready, we'll come all the way back to center. Allowing that right hand to dangle down, wide collarbones, soft shoulders, and we're circling through that shoulder. Allow the movement to be luxurious, guided by your breath. And then we'll take it around in the opposite direction when you're ready. And again, everything can be done with a soft gaze, lowered gaze, or closed eyes, so we turn inwards. Allow our internal experience of this movement guide us. One more. And we're coming back to center, allowing that right hand to come up. And again, I'm always mirroring you. We'll take those fingertips towards or even on that shoulder. Wide through the collarbones and shoulders down circling through the elbow. Everything else is rooting to rise, so as steady as we can, so the movement really isolates through the shoulder. Once again, once you have the movement, consider softening your gaze, closing your eyes, and noticing how you experience this inside your body. Interception. Noticing the sensations inside where you feel this, if you can adjust it to feel more comfortable. How your body is responding to the movement within the breath. Allowing that movement to get as fluid as possible. You can always rest, otherwise two more. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Pausing and round in the opposite direction. That may, may feel very different to you. Once again, noticing everything that's going on on the inside adjusting the movement, the rhythm to suit you. Another two in this direction, unless you want to rest. And bringing that right hand down, as if there's a mason jar there, just opening and closing that mason jar from the shoulder or twisting there, not just from the wrist, but from the shoulder joint. And then we'll take the right hand down to support, left hand dangles, wide collarbone, shoulders down, rooting to rise, steady breath. Noticing how your body feels from the inside as we start to circle within the breath pattern. Inhaling up, exhaling down through those circles, whichever direction you happen to be going in. Allow the arm to simply come along with you. It doesn't have to look a particular way. For some of us, the arm's not going to move very much. And for others, it's gonna feel better to bend that elbow and get everything involved. Again, your internal experience of the movement, informing you if you need to change anything, how your body's responding to this movement. You get another two in this direction unless you're resting already. 
And then we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction, which may feel very different. Noticing where you feel this, how you experience it. How your body and breath move together. Another two. At the end of the exhale, I'm gonna take that left arm up. You can stay here with the hand or draw it on or towards the shoulder. Collarbones wide, shoulders soft. And with the very tip of that elbow, we'll start to create circle. Keeping everything as steady as possible. So the spine is neutral. Really taking all of your awareness from sensation to sensation in your body. There are so many different sensations that come up and ebb and flow away as we're moving through different shapes. One more here and then we'll either rest or you can take it around in the opposite direction. Again, always taking breaks when you need to if something doesn't feel like that's the movement for you in your body, no need to do it. Steady and smooth. Another couple here, resting early if you want to. And at the end of the exhale, that left hand goes down. And as if that big mason jar is there from the shoulder, we're twisting that open and closed. And then the left hand comes back to support. I'm gonna sit a little more away from the back of my chair as we come down through the spine. Rooting to rise on the inhale, we're drawing the heart forward. Shoulder blades come towards each other on the exhale. I'm sitting back drawing my belly in towards the spine as I sit back into the chair, inhaling and exhaling. So we've got extension and then flexion of the spine. And start small, working within the rhythm of your breath. Notice places that are more challenging and be gentle with yourself rather than pushing into what you consider to be the furthest range of motion. Start to just work within the breath, how the body again responds to the breath through the movement. Allow that to be enough. If you want to add the arms, we're going to take the palms up on the inhale as we bring the chest forward. We're going to draw those thumbs back, bending at the elbow, everything from the shoulders drawn towards the back body. And on the exhale, I'm gonna turn those elbows out, draw the fingertips towards each other, and curl the belly in towards the spine. So we've got this curvature now through the shoulders. Inhaling, elbows come in towards the ribs as we open up, shoulder blades towards each other, and curling in. We've already been here with the neck but lifting the gaze on the inhale exhaling curling in if there's another arm movement that feels better for you you want to take the hands back down to the support of your legs please go ahead inhaling and exhaling but another three to go unless you're resting Last one, more or less. And then coming all the way back up to support. Any adjustments you need to make, please go ahead. 
rooting to rise. We're going to imagine that there is a cord coming down from the ceiling, kind of just in front of you. We're going to draw one hand up as if we're pulling down on that cord or rope. We inhale, we reach one arm, exhale, we're drawing down. It doesn't have to be a very big movement. We're starting to lengthen through one side of the body. Maybe those arms come up a little further. Maybe they don't. Looking down through your seat, through your feet, and finding the length through one side of your body and then the other. And you may feel, you may notice that your internal experience of this is very different one side of your body to the other, which is perfectly normal. Notice which feels more fluid, which feels more challenging. Adjusting to accommodate working with your body. Maybe taking the gaze if you want to. Option to stay here option. Next time one arm comes up in height, bring the other arm up too and reaching through the fingertips, rooting feet and seat, lifting, even taking the gaze up, finding space. Hands can come as far away or as close towards each other depending on what feels good in your shoulders. Steady breath. And on the next exhale, we're going to drift those arms down soft and gentle again rolling through the shoulders coming into a twist taking the right hand up on the inhale we're drawing the right shoulder blade towards the center line of the back body that's the inhale on the exhale taking that right hand towards the left shoulder inhaling wide exhaling across great place to be right here noticing what's happening in that right shoulder maybe all the way down the right side of the body now the gaze can come with you if you want taking that into the neck option number one option number two is to take the left arm up and the hand comes towards the left elbow. Now that elbow can come forward in space to make that twist easier. It can come to the side or even back a little depending on the range of motion. So now we're getting a gentle twist through the spine. Inhaling wide, exhaling across. You can take every other one, every third one. And again, adjusting that left arm to suit you. Rooting down through the pelvis, so the twist is coming from the pelvis upwards through the spine. And the last option here is to lift that right arm up and come palm to palm. And again, you get to adjust where that left hand is in space for it to accommodate the twist that's available in your body in this moment. The gaze can always come with you, bringing that range of motion through the neck. Any dizziness, you're looking straight ahead to a point where you can softly fix your eyes or close your eyes if that's comfortable for you and go inside. Notice how you experience this twist. Another three, resting if you need to, adjusting anything to suit you. Last one here, coming back to cactus arms. This is the inhale, exhale, turning the palms down into kind of a scarecrow, inhaling up and exhaling down. Mm -hmm. And then releasing, 
rolling through the shoulders, anything you need to find some ease. And we're coming to the other side. Left arm comes out, elbow drops down. On the inhale, we're drawing the left shoulder blade back in space, spine is neutral. On the exhale, tapping over to the right shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. And that hand may not come on or anywhere near the right shoulder, that's okay. We're not drawing the right shoulder forward. We're just noticing that range of motion in the left shoulder. Great place to stay right here. If you're adding on, we're gonna take that right arm up and we're gonna tap over to the right elbow. Now you get to decide how forward or to the side or back that will right elbow is in space to accommodate the twist that feels manageable for you within that breath. And a really great way to do that is to go inside, soften your gaze, close your eyes, and understand or listen to the language of your body, sensation to sensation. Sensations are our body telling us its experience of this movement. And if we need to change things up, adapt it to seem like we're working with our body instead of against it. Last option here, as the other side, is to take the left hand towards the right. And again, you get to accommodate that twist in your body. You can take the gaze with you. working within your breath. Another three, unless you want to rest. It's a lot in the shoulders. Be gentle with yourself. Last one here. Coming back into a cactus. This is the inhale, exhale down to a scarecrow and back and forth a few times, releasing tension. And then relaxing the hands down. From here, we're gonna turn the palms towards me, rooting to rise, steady breath. On the inhale, we're turning the palms up. Once again, the shoulder blades come towards each other. On the exhale, we're gonna turn the palms down and roll the palms, maybe even back behind you, maybe even up towards the sky again. So the twist is coming from the shoulders, moving all the way down through to the fingertips. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Another two, and again, go inside. Notice your internal experience of this. Mm -hmm. And from there, releasing. Take a big breath in, exhale it out. Come back to that steady breath. Noticing how you're feeling, how your body is. From here, we're starting to lift the right heel on the inhale, exhaling down. We're not really that interested in how high the heel comes, but what we want is the steady range of motion here, the smoothness of the movement. Rooting down through that left foot to give you stability. Great place to be. Adding on. Lifting up through the heel, rooting down through the left leg, lifting up through the right leg, exhaling down. And we want the steadiness of the movement. Imagine that foot is soft. It doesn't matter how high it comes. And again, you can keep the ball of the foot on the floor, just lifting up through the heel. 
if you want to add on. On the inhale, we're lifting it up and taking it out. That's the exhale. Inhaling up, exhaling out, or in. So it's like we're marching in and out with one leg. Rooting down two rides. So we've got this length through the upper body and the movements coming from the hip here. Two more on this side. Last one. And when the foot comes in, the right foot roots down, left heel lifts, inhaling, exhaling down. Readjust yourself if you need to. Trying to make it as fluid as possible. Great place to stay right here, just lifting up through the heel, adding on, lifting up through the foot, doesn't matter how high, keeping the rest of the body as still as possible. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, if this feels too much, keep the ball of the foot on the floor, lift through the heel. Adding on. Option, inhaling up, Exhaling out, doesn't have to be very far. Inhaling up, exhaling in. Working within the breath of the body. Noticing if you're taking your body along for the ride, if we can still the body. So even if the movement is a little smaller, we're coming from the hip getting into not only flexibility, but stabilization of the body as we're moving and the repetition brings strength. Got another two. And then we'll put that together. Okay, so coming back to center, we're gonna go from side to side. So, inhaling, right leg up, and we're coming out. Inhaling, left leg up, and we're coming out. We've got external rotation, and coming in, and in. Out, out, in, in. Don't, um, I'm teaching, so don't follow my breath, my pattern. I want you to follow your breath. Option to inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, or start to lengthen the breath. Inhale, exhale, so the movement becomes faster. Notice what's happening in your body, notice the support you need. You can always use the chair. Notice how you're experiencing this. More or less, two more full movements, wherever you are. Take a big breath in, exhale, settle the energy, and notice how you feel. Steady breath, notice your whole body, the right side of your body, the left side of your body. the front plane of your body and the back of your body too. And then bring it all together, crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips, your body as a whole. Energy, how you're experiencing your body sensation to sensation. And 
and then bringing everything you need for your relaxation, I'll meet you down on the floor for the rest of the class. And then we'll take it all the way down on our back. Making sure you have everything you need to feel comfortable here. And a pillow under the head if it feels like it's straining through the throat. Softness underneath the back of your body. Take a breath in. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And on an exhale, allow yourself to settle. Tune your awareness inwards once again. Soften your gaze, close your eyes, whatever feels comfortable, and come back to that breath and how the breath moves within the body and how the breath moves the body and the body moves in harmony. Notice how this feels. And then from here, I'm going to draw that right knee in, and again, I'm going to marry you, drawing it in towards you. Right hand to the right knee, right knee comes up towards the sky somewhat to extend through the right arm. And we're circling through the hip. Now the option is to keep the left knee pointing up towards the sky, you can allow the left knee to come out towards the side. That'll counteract the weight of the right knee coming out to the side, or you can extend out that left leg any amount. Inhaling and exhaling, circling through that hip joint. And then we'll come around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Allowing the movement to work with the cadence of your breath. And again, always notice what your body is telling you about this movement. From here, I'm going to draw it back up to center. We have the option here of taking the right thigh underneath the knee, if you like. And then on the inhale, we're extending that leg up, exhaling, curling the knee back in, or curling the heel back in. And on that extension, we do not have to take the leg completely straight. If it feels better for you, take the knee up towards the sky. That may ease into the back of the leg somewhat. If you want to add the sen to the sensation of the behind the right leg, pushing the heel out away from you, toes come back towards you and you're gonna to start to engage the back of that right leg a little more. And again, just working and playing within the boundaries of your breath and your body, being gentle with yourself. Option to stay here option to take the heel up towards the sky again soft foot is going to ease the back of the leg pushing the heel up is going to uh, make it more challenging left knee extended or foot to the floor will give you a little more foundation here i'm going to circle through the heel or the whole foot inhaling and exhaling arms um, wherever you feel is comfortable for you. Those circles can be small, can be big, but allow each circle to be a cycle of breath. Play around with what feels best in your body to accommodate the movement. Notice the challenging part. Notice the part that you're trying to skip through and slow down through those areas. And then we'll take it around in the opposite direction. And this might feel more jumpy, more jagged. It might feel more fluid. 
Again, what's your interior experience of this movement? Rest whenever you need to. And then when you're ready, extending that leg and then curling in through the heel. If the left leg is extended, draw the left foot back in, knee to the sky. I'm going to shift the hips towards the right, extending the left leg here. Left hand takes the right knee, right shoulder is grounded through a cactus or bringing your arm in a T, shoulder height, and we'll draw the right leg towards the left. Playing around, you can stay in movement here, coming in and out of the movement. You can pump the knee slowly up and down with the breath again going inside that interception, noticing what you feel here. Maybe staying in movement or finding a sweet spot and breathing into it, those steady breaths, noticing how the breath moves the body, how the body moves with the breath. And do your best to move the breath as fluidly as possible, giving yourself permission to change your shape, to shift, to accommodate for what you're experiencing. And then when you're ready, everything comes back to center. Right foot comes down, left foot comes to meet it, shift your hips back to center. Left knee draws in, giving it a little hug. Left hand to left knee. Knee draws up to center and we start to circle. Your option is to take that right knee out to the side to extend that right leg out long. There's not a right or wrong, a more advanced or better way. It's just about that interception, going inside, noticing how it feels for you. And giving yourself permission to accommodate for the needs of your body, your breath, making those movements smaller, bigger, staying the same. Working with the rhythm that feels good for you. And then we'll take it round in the opposite direction. You can always rest in between. Sensation to sensation. Allow that information to guide your movement. Trust yourself. And then the next time that knee comes up, it can stay. Hand to the thigh or even behind that knee. And we're extending and flexing. Option to draw the knee further away from you. That might make it a little easier. And of course, the option of pushing the heel away, toes coming back towards you, will start to wake up the back of that leg a little more. One is not better than any other. It's about listening to what you need. And your body will tell you, and the breath will guide you. So, suiting yourself, what feels best, not pushing, always working with your body, with your breath, with your experience. Option to stay here, option to extend the leg up towards the sky, release the hands, and then from here, again, that right leg may come back to support, foot to the floor, knee to the sky. And we start to circle. 
circle through the foot. It's actually coming, of course, from the hip. It can be small circles, deliberately slow. You can work within your own rhythm that just feels naturally like it comes to you. Notice the part of the movement that feels the most challenging that we try and rush through and slow that down or make it smaller so you can allow those circles to get as steady as possible. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Always going inwards to your experience of this. Resting, of course, if ever you need to, adjusting, adapting the movement to suit this moment for you. And then when you're ready, we'll bring that back to center. Knee comes in. And from here, if that right leg is not drawn in, knee to the sky, we'll do that now and shift the entire pelvis to the left side. Extending the right leg out, left shoulder is grounded in a T or a cactus and we're drawing the left knee towards the right. You can stay in movement, coming in and out. You can rest on props if you need to, or if that feels most comfortable for you. You can draw the knee up and pulse it away from you. Again, just allow you, allow your body and everything to experience this movement, the breath, the body together, sensation to sensation. Allow that information to guide your experience. In stillness and movement. And then when you're ready, gaze comes to center. Everything comes up to center. Left foot down, right knee to the sky. And the foot comes in and we readjust ourselves back to center. From here, you can come into relaxation or maybe draw the knees in, give yourself a little hug, rock and roll a little bit from side to side. And taking your time from here to come into your relaxation. And as you do that, I'm going to come up to a seat. Once again, maybe your relaxation is in a different place than you already are, your bed, your sofa handy, a recliner, if the floor is not comfortable for you. Take your time and settle in. Add any extra layers, eye pillows, a breath in. Exhale it out slow and long and soft. Another few breaths just like that. Every exhale, notice if you can release tension and tightness from your body. And then slowly let the breath come back to its own natural rhythm. until you can release the breath entirely and take your awareness inside your body.
releasing your body down into that support underneath you, always knowing you can make adjustment, shift, change whenever you need to, whenever your body lets you know that that's the best thing to do. what your experience of this moment is as you allow yourself to be supported. If your awareness is drawn to particular places in your body, simply notice. No judgment, no story. shift to the back of your body. And just be aware of whatever's present in the back of your body. to shift to the front of your body. Not expecting anything, just simply resting in that awareness gently. Shifting your awareness to the right side of your body. To the right side of your body. All the way down to the sole of your foot, all the way up to the crown of your head, the right side of your body. And then drift your awareness over to the left side of your body. Aware of it all. And allow your awareness to expand into your whole body at once. See if your awareness can expand beyond the boundaries of your body into the space around you. And follow your awareness wherever it goes. to be expansive.
lengthen your awareness back into your body, crown of your head, tip of your fingers and toes, your body as a whole. Noticing the support underneath you, feeling into those different textures. Start to become familiar with how your body is responding to your breath, moving and shifting. And front and back body, left and right, your body as a whole. And start to notice how you feel in this moment. Starting to take more mindful breaths when you're ready. Staying with that interception, your experience moment to moment, sensation to sensation, as you start to bring slow movements into your body in your own way to awaken. Or you can rest just as you are. Allow those movements to expand. And start to consider bringing yourself to a place that you would like to finish up your practice. And that may be just as you're resting. you are, try and stay connected to that internal experience as we bring our hands in a gesture that feels good for you, whatever that may be. Taking a breath in, exhaling, drawing your chin down towards your chest. And once more, dipping into that interception, your internal experience of this moment and how you feel. Thank yourself for your practice today, for your attention. I thank you for being here, for choosing to take the time to move and to experience your practice from my heart to yours. Namaste.